So we're headed to Palm Valley today. It's in what national park is it called? Sorry, Fing Fing Gorge. Fing Gorge National Park or Fing Gorge. There's two ways we could go. We could have continued on the way that we came into Kings Canyon. You needed a, uh, a permit to take that road. It was only six dollars fifty. We purchased that permit, but we're actually going to turn around and backtrack a little bit. It's going to be a longer drive by a couple of hundred <coughs> kilometres. So it's going to take us a, a couple more hours, but we'll actually be going on a four-wheel drive track which takes us through that national park and there's a couple of points of interest so with any luck this four-wheel drive track is in semi-reasonable condition and hopefully the track's not too narrow because we're going to end up with some pinch drops on the car but I think it'll be more adventurous going this way and prettier so we actually drive through the national park that's yeah. why we decided to go this way the other way was what 150 k's I think this way is about 350. Anyway, it's all about the adventure, eh? And this apparently seems to be the way we need to get across. So that boggy hole track was only 100 k's and it took us seven and a half hours. So this long way that we're taking uh, to Palm Valley, the first turn off is the Ernest Giles Road, I think it was called, wasn't it? Um, just a dirt, dirt track, it's a gazetted road, right? But it's, <laughs> it's pretty corrugated and there's some washouts, so you just got to drive to the conditions. I let the tyres down to, to 25. So the sign says Temple Downs, and I'm pretty sure this is the start of the boogie hole track. Miranda's just double checking on the uh, the HEMA map book at the moment. Back there, sign says Tempe Downs. You basically turn left there. You head well 50 meters from that Tempe signs, uh, Tempe Downs sign, and you met with this Fink River. So this is us, eh? Fink Gorge National Park, four-wheel drive track, Boggy Hole, historic police station ruins, La Murta Springs Conservation Reserve, and that's where we're camping tonight, Palm Valley. That's us. So we're going to be cutting in and out and over the river. Yeah. This is going to be cool. We're actually going to be driving along the riverbed for most of it. Well, a lot of it. What do you think of that? Let's hope we make it. <laughs> of course we will. Let's go.
All right, so we've been following that track for a little bit and we came across a sort of a fork in the road and to the right hand side we could see this um this like shed structure was quite demolished so we just drove straight past that because we could tell we're headed towards the water and we just thought we'd stop here and have our lunch how's lunch guys good good let's check that out not a bad spot to have your lunch i don't think obviously someone's been camping here there's a fire pit there and a little bit of leftover firewood i just knocked um a little bit more pressure out the tires because we had to cross over the sandy um the sandy riverbed there to make it through so just to make it easier on the way back i just dropped them down a little bit because we did get bogged down um a tad but uh miranda's whipping up lunch we'll eat that and then we'll get stuck back into this track and try and get to our destination so this is what happens when you don't listen to your wife she wanted me to back up and go out the way we came which really made sense but there wasn't much room to reverse so i thought this way would be quite easy obviously i was wrong so i've got some shoveling to do What do I know, hey? Peach Daz, bro. I saw in the boot, Miranda's defrosting. Beef roast? Beef roast. I don't know if we're gonna get there in time to eat it. Anyway, first attempt. Basically the trailer got hung up on that little rise and the car just bogged down so just dug the wheels out, <clears throat> out made a little bit of a track. I'll get the max tracks out underneath the, the cruiser's wheels. That'll at least get the trailer over the hump. I might have to do that a couple of times, but we'll get out. Worst case scenario is we hunt and hitch the Robbo, get the car out and then we recover the trailer. We've got everything we need, except for time. Yeah. All right. Don't look so worried. We'll okay. be fine. Okay. Right, here we go. Fingers crossed we can get out this first time and not be stuck here for hours. close we just need to get to the riverbed there okay, let's go let's go 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 Frank, go 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 yes go 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 nearly there nearly there keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going Right, I better collect these Max tracks and start following them. We're out, yay! <laughs> well, we're out and I rinse myself off in the shower and the, uh, and the camper because I was sandy and sweaty. I mean, what a beautiful spot to get bogged, right? Yeah, thank God it wasn't 40 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I did have all intentions, or we did have all intentions of getting some awesome drone footage of us cutting through the national park but we we just blew so much time there uh, it's 3 30 already we were hoping to be at camp by 2 30 and to be honest we're not really too sure how much further we got to go there. do you know any idea a guesstimate if that was boggy hole we got probably another 100 k's to go was boggy hole. oh great that was pretty boggy yeah. any hoodie probably made for some good footage <laughs> next obstacle we've now got no idea where the track's going and we've come across this we've sent the drone up and this apparently seems to be the way we need to get across so 
I'm just going to try and walk over and Craig can follow me and I'm going to try and just pick the lowest points on these rocks because there are a lot of scrapes on them already. Hopefully we don't leave any on there. So let's see how we go. Keep coming this way. I don't want to come this way. Oh, straight, straight, straight. Okay, coming this way, this way, this way. Just slow. Sorry, you're going to want to head this way now. Head this way. Further, further, further. Stop. You want to turn, turn it that way. Okay, and then, yep. I have no idea what this filming And straight, straight. Straight up, straight up. Good lord. Oh, slow. Shoot. Okay, lesson number two. Lesson one was listen to your wife. <laughs> lesson two. When your wife's guiding you on a technical full drive track, set up a tripod because that would look like the Blair Witch Project, I reckon. We might get some good <laughs> shots to cut in to a sequence and we'll have to put it to music and time the cuts to the beat. But a full shot of what we just did then would have looked pretty cool. But yeah, yeah there was a handheld camera being shaken all over the place. <laughs> However, we think we're on the right track. I had to resort to using the drone to fly it up because there was a track that went left, a track that went right. The one that went to the left basically turned into water. <laughs> and this one didn't. We got a little yeah. marker again. Yeah, and we found a little blue marker that we've been seeing all the way along. So we're pretty confident this is it. Anyway, not for the faint Let's see what the next obstacle is. <laughs> And we we're having two minute noodles for dinner tonight. We should have taken Yay! the Marini loop that we paid that $6.50 <laughs> permit for. We, we would have been there three drink, hours ago. Drinking a beer by now. But anyway. Oh. So obviously it's going to take us much longer to get to camp. But have a look at the, the land that we're riding through at the moment. screwdriver gentle persuasion with a uh, soft hammer we're good to go and unfortunately I mean that doesn't look pretty right but we got to get to camp so good old duct tape get that all secure sort that out later two seconds we'll be on our road again
I guess nothing today's gone to plan. We just got a flat. Chocks, Jack, change it out. I actually had to dig down to get the Jack low enough. Got it resting on a block of wood, but I'm gonna put the uh, stabilizer legs down just in case we come off it and won't chop my legs off. Oh, that's just all we need to know. So it's a yeah, rescue plane coming to get us. Sidewall. Hit yeah. one of those stones, unfortunately, one of those rocks. Those were coming around the corner there. Try to avoid them. Obviously, I failed. Probably just slid off the side and popped it. Wheels on, stabilizers up. Haven't talked up the nuts yet. Just gonna let it down on the ground. I'll get the torque wrench out, get them all torqued up. Lower the pressure in that tire to match the other one, and then we'll be on our way. can this day throw at us, right? Seriously. We're gonna have to do it, eh? Well, we passed that other car, so yeah. they would have had to come through it. Yeah, true. The car already come through here today, so... I don't know. We should probably have a little bit of a debrief, I suppose. Um, we've got off that boggy hole track. That, that track was only 100 k's. Oh man, all this red mud. God, oh, the car is covered in red mud. You hear that? Um, so that boggy hole track was only 100 k's and it took us seven and a half hours. Now, we lost two hours with the flat tire and the electrical um, plug on the back of the trailer and also the um and we got bogged oh that's a big hole we'll cross this in a minute um yeah so 100 k's seven and a half hours minus those two hours that we lost we're probably looking at 20 k's an hour which is about right um the entrance to the track said camper trailers not recommended and yeah absolutely campers aren't recommended on that track it got pretty gnarly hey i think it the reason we gnarly. decided to do it is we were already halfway we in to the track and we've had yeah. it um craig's parents had spoken to a gentleman who had done it with a camper trailer so that's mm. why we went down that track otherwise we wouldn't have yeah <laughs> we just wouldn't have done it no, no. <laughs> um so be frost not an option for dinner. No. Uh, we're probably an hour from the campsite, to be honest. Um, oh, and the other thing, there's a, an app called Road... What's it called? Road Report Road NT. Road Report NT. Um, but it's an older app. It's a, it must be a government app, right? Because it doesn't work on, on um, the latest release Androids. Um, you need an older phone. But you can use the website, which we did. And it said that that track was open. And there was just washouts and high and it, clearance four-wheel drive yeah it didn't, it didn't say anything about didn't say anything towing, about yeah 
how long it would take and all that sort of stuff but it was fun and it was absolutely gorgeous mm. um <laughs> the only thing is miranda told her dad um because he knew that we were going that way i'll call you in the afternoon when we get there so you know we're not stranded and we haven't had reception the whole time but we've just gotten into coverage we're on sort of a, a gravel a gravel road now he received it i don't know he hasn't responded yet. But. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're going to make this its own independent episode. <laughs> because there's a lot to get through. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, sort of. I got a pong on. Miranda was heart in her mouth for a lot of it. Mm. Um, anyway, subscribe, like, leave a comment. <laughs> You idiots, what were you doing? <laughs> yeah, um, and never we'll, again. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next episode, which is going to be exploring Palm Valley. If we make it. <laughs> <laughs> we might be sleeping in the car tonight, right? Okay. Uh, catch you out there, Where's guys. Where's those potato chips? That's dinner. <laughs> yeah.